Yeah, it was February 24th. I wonder if they always choose, like, a random time in the morning to, uh, to show... Because, like, you know, it's, like, usually 9 a.m., but, like, why do they pick 9.41 a.m.? Well, you got a brief before the trial... It's always good to arrive a little before the set time. Why didn't they choose, like, 9.45, though? I don't know. <laughs> they chose a random-ass time. Don't be mean to the people that made this old-ass thing. <laughs> anyway, walk into Phoenix Reyes Attorney. <laughs> yep. We're on day three. <laughs> Episode number 100 billion. Episode so, what do you think, Mr. Wright? <sighs> Man, I'm tired. <laughs> I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all, the victim was murdered in two places at the same time. That was Lana that said that. <sighs> God damn it! <laughs> and a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. So who did it, Meekins or Lana? Lana! Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was... Indis... Indisposed? Yeah. I hope they don't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. So, how'd it go? It would. It's as Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> a plea bargain? What do you mean by that? Oh. We agreed that if I told them the truth behind the Samutangmir's... Samutangmir's... Spell it out. Simultaneous. 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 It's you don't your. It's not your. <laughs> simultaneous. Sim. <laughs> I don't think I can say it. <laughs> you really can't. I've never heard you say this word. Simultaneously. Murder. <laughs> They wouldn't see capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. But, Lana, don't tell me you- Watch to my regret. I am as much in the dark about this as they are. Miss Guy? Hmm? We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? Yeah, we found his cum on the locker. <laughs> Blood- Blood same fingerprints to be exact. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall? Yeah, I mean, that's how day two always works. Just fucking bullshit our way through it. <laughs> we have been, we have to, we have to play the cards we're dealt, isn't that right, Miss Guy? Do what you have to do, Mr. Wright. Alright, now you get the controller. Because you had to play now. <laughs> Alright, it's 10 a.m. now. It took us 19 minutes to talk to them. 7 a.m. Waking up in the morning. Gotta get dressed. Gotta do all your stairs. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Sorry, I was checking Twitter. The prosecution <laughs> is. Hmm. What? Confused as hell. <laughs> the prosecution is. Hmm? Gonna take I'm a afraid second. you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department for the prosecutor's office. Okay, but are you ready? Yeah, the <laughs> victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? I don't know. Once more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. So it was Edgeworth the whole time! <laughs> wow, this is one messed up trial. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today, I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. Cool. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> like, so on top of me. Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be an admirable train? Very well. Let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? The guy was like Mr. This. Edward, <laughs> you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first witness, the prosecution calls Mr. Wright. 
the suspect <gasps> of the murder that occurred at the police oh my department. God. Megan. The suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? Wait, isn't it not allowed for you to call the suspect up to the the thing? No, I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, okay. Oh, look at him. He's so adorable. I like how he still gets to wear the police uniform, even though he's being held up in, like, county jail right now. <laughs> yeah. Will the witness please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir. I'm Officer Mike... Mike Meekin, sir. My occupation is, um... That would be murder, <laughs> sir. <laughs> er, so you're telling us you're a professional killer? An assassin, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. I never kill anyone again, sir. You gotta believe me, sir. Oh, uh, actually, what we'd like to hear from you is... Sir! I want you to call part of the gang, the younger generation, sir. I'm Gen Z and all this. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't he be millennial? Because this took place in 2001. I, I guess so. Or is it? No, the t technically it takes place in like what, 2011, 2012? So he would be a millennial. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> a person whose actions adults cannot simply comprehend. Please, Mr. Edgewood, sir, help me, sir. <laughs> Officer Meekins. Yes, sir. Give us your report of the crime. Consider that in order. Yes, sir. As you wish. I should do that salute too. As far as like the voice acting, just go. <laughs> just break my fucking neck. <laughs> After all, I'm part of the generation that must be told what to do, sir. Oh, so we use Gen Z. <laughs> you can't fault him for a lack of enthusiasm. I love him. Meekins is my favorite. <laughs> Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Wait, wouldn't that just be Jake Marshall's job? Because he's literally the security guard. Like yeah. the FNAF thing. You're a security guard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I spotted a suspicious man in the security screen and rushed into the room. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life and then I, I did it. After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. Was it Gumshoe? Did Gumshoe smack you awake? Just go, hey, hey, pal. <laughs> mm. So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you? Do it to others before they do upon you. That's the Meekins family motto, sir. I see. Then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir. He knocked me upside the head, sir. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I like when he said very well, he shook his head no. <laughs> yeah. What I need here is more information to work with. Hold on, homie. <laughs> I got a salute. That was not my normal duty. I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, don't do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of the hiring new recruits, sir. Yikes, now there's a scary thought. <laughs> Evidence transferal was taking place on the day of the crime, which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. The Blue Badger? The one that's out front? Yes, sir. The lovely police mascot created by Chief of Detective, sir. I was too sure it wasn't broken during the transferal process. <laughs> That was my sole mission for that day, sir! What the fuck is that? <laughs> Can we kill it? <laughs> I see. Sounds like a very important mission. After the award ceremony finished that day, we were, there were so many people running around that I relocated the blue badger into the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. In order to enter the secure no, sorry, the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir. I have one right around my neck. They still let him have that? <laughs> so, uh, your ID should be uh, listed on here, right? Vegans? There! 
there it is, I found it! It's the one right here! Could you please read us the number? Yes, sir! It's four... fuck. It's four nine eight nine five nine six. That's my number, sir! I wonder if there's like a special meaning to the numbers, like if it's like a funny haha -ha thing. <laughs> I see, huh? But the number five nine eight nine five nine six is shown to be used twice. Please explain, witness. It's not really a mystery, sir. The first time that I is when I relocated the blue badger into the evidence room, and then the second time is when I went to go get him after everything settled down, sir. I see. So it was during that second time when. Yes, sir. That's when I spotted the man in the security screen. That of the IQ report added. I was only I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. But I was I was suddenly attacked. So you were attacked? Could you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife. He, he got the London treatment. Yeah, he got the switchblade. Just got. <laughs> yeah, he was like, uh, he was like, he was like, what are you doing in here? He was like, oi, bruv, you trying to get fucking shanked. <laughs> Trying to get carved up like a pumpkin. POV, me visiting stage in the UK. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you fat little girl. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if this was really America, Meekins would have just gotten shot instead. <laughs> yeah, that, you're right. I mean, it is a hybrid between like Japan and America, which we will see more of that world in the second and third game, but... Yeah. Yeah, if this was really America, Meekins would have got shot and killed in the evidence room. Yeah. Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you? What happened then? Well, with me... With me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You weren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. <laughs> oh my god, Phoenix. That's why... I, that's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms around like an octopus, struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash on my hand. Maybe if you just kept your cooler hand wouldn't be... When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. I fought for my life and then I, I did it. <laughs> what exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look like the type, but I really, I'm into Kung Fu movies, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker watches Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> the man let his guard down for a second, so I snatched the knife from him. You took his knife? I spun it around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. <laughs> I, uh, see. He must have been desperate. <laughs> the next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood, and then... And then the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in the face, sir. And then even now, I'm doing it around me, you're giving me my room. About what time do you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious! <laughs> oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. So, he had me right in the head, too. What was the one good last time he can go in there? Was 4.15? 5.14. So he was out for an hour and 15 minutes where someone walked in and it was 5 like... 5.14. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh. So he was in there for like 15 minutes? <laughs> Oh. Okay, so he went in there 514 and then woke up 15 minutes later with someone smacking him around. Yeah. I woke up crying tears of pain! That's nice. Or, uh -oh. I mean, it's nice that you recovered, that is. That's so. Now, why does everyone meet a Meekins? <laughs> when I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir. The blue badger, sir. I returned into the entrance before things got out of hand. Well, we can all rest easy now. <laughs> I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? That's what I was saying. He's got a point. Um... Yes, Officer Beacons? With regarding to that, sir... Take a look at this! It was sent to my jail cell! Chief Gant delivered it just to me this morning, sir. The chief? Delivered it? What is that? Uh, videotape? Yes, sir! 
It's actually right, sir. A videotape, sir. It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. Why was Ezra not made aware of this? <laughs> but I specifically asked if there was such a tape. It was told it had been mistakenly erased. <laughs> That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's not the only thing I'm really good at. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. <laughs> well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word murder, sir. It scares me. <laughs> a video of the real murder. Just what we... Just what are we getting ourselves into? Alright, get ready for the best fucking animation you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> it's a guy. You like how they put him in the middle of the fucking screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad the fishing pole is in the frame. Man, they got Mika's pretty good in 3D. I did it. <laughs> In the, in the corner. Wait, where the fuck did the... Where did Goodman go? Wait a minute. <laughs> where did Goodman go? <laughs> well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. Yeah. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? But I can tell you what we can do with these unnecessary feelings if you get my grift. <laughs> what the hell was that wriggling piece of plywood? Sir, that's the pride and joy in the entire criminal affairs department, sir. That's the blue badger, sir. Why am I not surprised this isn't going to be smooth? <laughs> Video the security of it. Okay. I think we can look at that at any time and watch it. Yes, well, anyway, this tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter uh, someone yeah, he, the man got in the evidence room, <laughs> and some sort of our activity did take place. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that alright with you, Officer Beacons? Yes, sir! Anyway, sir! Oh, so you can, get, you can sit closer to me if you want. <laughs> you don't have to be scared of me. I'm so scared. You're scared of me? His face wasn't really clear as you see in the video, but there was no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint, too. The locker he opened was unequivocally Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have locked it. Oh uh, yeah, good. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Gumshoe did say that, right? Yeah. Uh, unless I guess if you were to like match your fingerprint on a glove or something like that. Could they have done that in two thousand and eleven? I mean, if wait. you were like extremely smart, probably. Yeah. Wait. Check the court record. Did we get a thing about the lockers? Yeah. Go like that. Yeah. No. The, the that one. <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> I looked at it. Only the side detectives' prints can unlock it. Indicator lamps light up when it's open. Wait a second. Yeah. Is there no way to speed this up? I wish there was. I wish we don't have to fucking hear the fucking blue It was already open. It was? The oh. light's on. Oh, it was? I can't see it. Here, wait. I mean, I'll just, yeah, I'll yeah. just show you because the first part of this is the important part. So, like, none of the lights are on. Okay, so it's all like... The light's already on. Oh, that one's open. Yeah. My dumbass was looking at the very far one. No. So I was like, I don't see the light on. So that means that this could uh, be someone other than... Yeah, you see the light, light oh, was and on. And then the glove fell on the floor. Yeah. I love how Meekins didn't, like, put the blue badger to the side or anything. 
He put it in the middle of the fucking room. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is a good spot for it. Oh yeah, he did have a knife. They did wrestle. He threw him against the locker. <laughs> Mika just went <laughs> like this, like he was squirting a goal. <laughs> now we never see the person leave. Yeah, that's right. We, we just pan over and Mika's is on the floor fucking dead. <laughs> oh my god, they killed him, bro. <laughs> hmm. Wait, one, one thing that I'm oh, curious about. Aw. Oh. Okay, the, the smudges were already on the blue badger yeah. before. Yeah. Well, I just realized, at the beginning, at the, like, the very far locker on the left, there was nothing hanging out, but when the clip ends, you can see, like, something hanging out of the locker. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I wish there was a fast-forward button, because I'm not watching that entire thing again. <laughs> yeah. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker, equipped with a fingerprint-activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim at the crime scene would have ha had to have been Detective Goodman. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Well, I don't know where this cross-examination will lead. But everything begins with contradictions. That's where we're at the start. <laughs> Mystery man. His face can be seen clearly in the video. Do you want to just like go right to the thing since you know what it was? <laughs> I think he's like, there's no way he could have known the quest of Goodman. I mean, he opened the locker which required to to Goodman's fingerprints to do. Didn't he say it one more time? I couldn't remember. The locker he opened was unexcubed to touch Goodman's locker. No one else could have unlocked it. Are you showing the security thing? Because it shows on there that- Yay, look at you! <laughs> Regarding the video containing in this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange. This contradiction leads to the possibility that the man may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction? Interesting. God, he's so fucking hot. <laughs> Your Honor, I have a proposal. <laughs> yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I propose we have the defense. Yeah. Die. <laughs> Do you... Point out to us this alleged contradiction in the video. <gasps> He would want me to point it out. Yeah, no shit. I'm Very well. Proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. The way that they made it sound like they were really gonna hold up like the videotape and just be like, hmm, I don't see anything on the, <laughs> the thing. I will now play the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us this contradiction you speak of. I had to point out a problem in the video. This is the first time I've ever had to do that. <laughs> You can do it, Mr. Wright. Just fucking pause it. It's set up so you can fast forward, rewind, or pause the video. Oh, thank God. God. <laughs> Just take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. Please don't play it too many times. I can't see one in the video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where is the contradiction that indicates the man may not be Detective Goodman? Mm -hmm. So just go like, give me like, the light's on. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> the thing that's strange about this video has got to be this. Officer Meekins. Sir! Do, do you mean me, sir? As I understand, this locker... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> this fucking music. <laughs> Is that the apparatus? Yeah. Oh, I know that one from Lethal Company. Let's go. I can't say specifically. What was the other one? Simultaneously. Simultaneously. <laughs> apparatus works like this. I'm gonna kill fucking... myself. <laughs> I okay. I read the line. No, you didn't finish it. Yeah, then I said works like this. <laughs> Whatever. When you grab the handle of the sensor, read your fingerprint. If it's a match, beep. the light turns on and the locker is released. According to my very limited experience, that's what I understand it, sir. If so, then something is seriously wrong in this picture. I hate the fucking blue badger thing. <laughs> I fucking hate this stupid fuck. Are they gonna. Okay. <laughs> I gotta watch this. Fuck 
fucking thing. I knew this video was gonna come up. I didn't know if it was gonna be in the second or the third one. When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, couldn't they just gone to like like this point? Let's rewind a little earlier. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they could have just cut it. Here, notice the light. What's this? It's already lit. <laughs> yeah, Your Honor, it is kind of lit in here. <laughs> Precisely my point, Your Honor. The locker is already open before the victim grabbed the handle. Order, order. What's the meaning of this? I don't know, but I'm glad this music's playing and not the Blue Badger music. <laughs> it's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. I mean, it could be A, broken, or two, they didn't close the door all the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know, it must have broken down. Of course, I'm not an expert in this. That's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Oh well, it just goes to show novices should keep their mouths shut. Thanks. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? What, didn't you just say I should keep my mouth shut, Your Honor? <laughs> Me, Your Honor? Yes, why wasn't the locker locked? I don't know. Me, Your Honor? Yes, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Huh? Um. Maybe something like jam the system sensor? Something jam the sensor? Say. There's something else that seems out of place in this video. Yeah, I thought so too. There's gotta be another clue somewhere in this footage. Was it the fucking glove falling out? <laughs> yeah. Very well, let's inspect the video once more. The locker wasn't locked. Mr. Wright, please point out the cause for this. It was this fucking glove! <laughs> oh. oh! Did you get it? Is it? Please watch closely. This is a continuation of the part I showed you earlier. <laughs> Couldn't they have fixed this when they moved it over to the fucking PC? <laughs> Why do we need to see the entirety? Oh, there we go. What's this? Something white fell out of the locker. What do you know? But, but sir, it must. It's been my experience that things fall out when doors are open. I often fall out and roll great distances with. <laughs> when he gets out of his car or what? I can't wait to see the rest of that sentence when I'm editing this. <laughs> How come Meekins has a car and Phoenix Wright doesn't? He's on a police salary. Actually, Gumshoe's on a detective salary and he walks everywhere. <laughs> yeah. He can't afford those car payments. <laughs> yeah, you can barely afford ramen. Yeah. We can't be sure the item was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggered triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? In inserted? Yeah, like like how I'm about to insert into Edgeworth later. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> In my defense, we have to watch this video five fucking times. It's in slow motion, too. It's it is? Yeah, look at the seconds. Oh, you're right. The white thing isn't inside the locker. It was stuck in between the door and the sensor. Oh, I understand now, sir. It's just like my tie. But two out of three times, it gets stuck in the door when I'm out in my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead, the door is closing. My tie is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Well, it's, it's a fucking glove. Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. Oh, like a, well, yeah, a, like a rubber glove. Yeah, like a rubber glove. Yeah, we learned that one for One Piece. It would need to be an insulator. Oh, we I know that one. Yes, an insulator, but at the crime scene. There just might have been something that fits that description. Oh. But, but sir, but- oh, what the fu- No one's paying attention to fucking Meekins. He's just rambling on. <laughs> Everyone's like, alright, anyway. I think I finally got this figured out. Very well. 
will the defense please present to the relevant evidence? What was this insulator that was stuck in the locker door? Check uh, out this knife. <laughs> oh yes, may I add a rubber? Also, I'd like to point out that he also had Edgeworth's knife just in the video. Oh yeah, he did. I was I was like, what if it's like the knife that was supposed to like leave the the evidence room? But then I realized that it doesn't have a point anymore. Wait, hey, we have the video. We can always rewind. Wait, it. so the traces of the victim, the traces of the victim's blood. What, Bryce Goodman? How does that make sense? Cause, cause this this blood, right? Yeah. Makes more sense if he slashed someone. What do you think? It's Lana or it's not Megan's? I mean, they both had their hands slashed. Well, yeah, but uh, it's just either way. Like it makes it makes more sense because that that guy Bruce Goodman, whoever that is, whether it's Bruce Goodman or not, had had this knife, and in the video, and he slashed Meekins with it. This makes more sense to be a slash because like it's on the side of the blade. And there's nothing on the point. Oh yeah, you're right. So the, that didn't, then I point that out like oh yeah. Yeah, he was well, like, well that's that's why that's why I bring it up. Yeah. Is because you you pointed that out and I was like well I, I don't know it it could have been like <laughs> in clean in and out. Yeah, and then we saw the other knife and that one had like blood on the tip. Yeah. Or like the quote unquote tip. But this this is this is definitely a sla like a slashing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's pull out the glove. <laughs> Oh, there, there it is. I found this near the locker. A, a thin rubber glove. But we can't be sure that was in the victim's locker. Bro, just fucking look at it. It has a tag that says SL9 incident. Bring. The video seems to indicate that the victim opened the locker. But, but that isn't clear. Wait, uh, what? <laughs> I didn't even get to read. What? Did you press the button or did it no, just auto it just, go? No, it just auto went. The day of the crime, even I could have opened the locker. Isn't that so, Officer Meekins? Sir! You wouldn't be so, sir! Look at the way he stands. He's a, a little guy. <laughs> order, order, order. Order, 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 order. <laughs> So are we to believe then that the victim whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman? Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely demonstrated that possibility and nothing more. Fuck you. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. Didn't... The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. Okay. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Okay, sir. Sir! M me, sir? I'm not sure if I'm referring to you, sir. Oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir. Is this a joke? <laughs> Very well. Begin your testimony. This you have to go through this guy to get hired. I can't. I could not imagine your future being on this man's hands. <laughs> there was one other thing that proves that this man was attending Goodman, sir. Enter the evidence room. One must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. How is that possible when, uh, I have the card right here. Yeah. I stole it from him. <laughs> I am Detective Goodman. <laughs> yeah. An ID card record. I see. I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. Oh, yeah. We still don't know who the trip, like, all the sevens are up there. The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Yeah. Just before the crime, yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transferal. Why were there so few people using this room? Yeah, that is a good point. This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Oh. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too, although it doesn't make much of a difference. There were only a few cases up for transferal there, and most were cleared up by noon. Right, I see. Now let us move on to the cross-examination. Hi, Meekins. <laughs> Mystery man number two. There was one other thing that proves this man was attached to Goodman, sir. Wait, didn't we find it in the fucking? Oh. So, unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? 
Yes, sir. Solid as stone, sir. If my hand was around the manages, it would give you the V for victory sign, sir. <laughs> Could you just use his right hand for that? Yeah, just... <laughs> Let's hear him out fully. As we've seen, one never knows what he might say until the very last second. Thanks, Judge. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. Is that card hanging from your neck, one of those ID cards? Yes, sir! This card right next to my cup, sir! Why is he allowed to have cups when he's in, in... Okay. I keep it there so I won't forget it. But what if someone were to steal it from you? Keep it out in the open like that. Maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. <laughs> Remember when I said two or three times my tie gets stuck when I go out of the door? Well, in the meantime, it was my ID card that gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, my ID card chokes me. Maybe I should just leave this one alone. <laughs> At any rate, each police officer has only one ID card. Both the police department and the prosecutor's office can attest to this. How come those offenses doesn't get involved with the police department? Because <laughs> they're... The whole point is defending criminals. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Please proceed with your testimony. Wait, did we get an achievement or am I crazy? <laughs> when an ID card is used, it has a record of it. Let me note that in this... Let it be noted that in this is the right... Fuck. And let it be noted that this is the record of the witness referred to. The witness... Fuck. God damn it. Let me see. Yes, that would be it. Detective Goodman. With as much as you read fanfiction, you should be really good at reading. I should. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, according to this... Mr. Edgeworth, your name is on there. Great. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I killed that man. <laughs> so it is, Your Honor. What, the prosecutor again? Hey, maybe he's behind all this. Being a prosecutor, he can hide the evidence. Mommy, is that man in the blue a murderer? <laughs> Just don't stare at him. You got the wrong color, kid. <laughs> it would seem. The inquiry committee will want to speak with you again today. Oh my god. I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences. For now, let us continue with the cross-examination. Poor Mr. Edgeworth, it must be so difficult for him. Oh, Heise is playing deadlock on stream. <laughs> At the time of the crime, the detective had used his, his card. Didn't Gumshoe say that he had to get multiple because he kept losing his- <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, I believe he testified when you, you asked the man to show his ID card. He pulled a knife on you. Yes sir, you didn't show me any ID cards, sir. Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't have been a reason to pull a knife. Maybe he just panicked. Yeah, panicked. Oh, me too. Whenever I panic around someone, I pull a knife on them. <laughs> Everything stems from the contradictions. Let's point them out. Mr. Wright, what do you think? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> what? The problem with this ID card testimony is it's far too obvious. It's not like Edgeworth to miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's show them what we've got. I don't know what the contradiction is. I don't know either. Should we bring up that, like, it was found in the, the prosecutor's office around that same time? Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a very good point. Because, <laughs> like, how can he use his, the card if it's right here? Uh, I mean, that oh is... Oh my god, card. I was right! <laughs> Wait a moment, Officer Meekins. I'm not good at waiting, sir. I have the victim's ID card right here. Didn't you joke that you're like, I have it right here. I'm the detective. <laughs> yeah, I did say that. I, I, found didn't, I didn't realize that that would actually be one. <laughs> <laughs> I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. <laughs> Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. Is a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. Uh, lost item report. It's only half completed. 
But it shows the detective had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. Oh, it must have been his ID card because he was trying to write down his ID. Oh, because he couldn't remember his fucking ID number. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, fuck, where's my ID card? Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Let me guess. He believed there's something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman is not carrying his card. Order, order. So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room. That was not Detective Goodman, but rather a man who stole his ID card. Order, 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 order. Doesn't prosecution have a response? I have only one thing to say to the defense. Kill yourself. <laughs> Bravo, Mr. Wright. Oh, that was the nicest thing he's ever said to me. Uh, uh, bravo. Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 p.m. on the day of the crime, the man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. Why did you say it against me? My bad. <laughs> First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yeah, it's probably it. Yes, what's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the instant of the murder. Uh, th that is, well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Fuck. Only moments ago you seemed content to be pointing your finger around. <laughs> I'll point my finger at you as much as I want. This is going this isn't going to end well. Well well, it seems you've finally realized exactly what you've gone to such lengths to prove. Oh, that can only be fucking Lana, god damn it. <laughs> Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. The defense has already done the expl explaining for me. God damn it! The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So, so the real crime could only take place at one location, the underground parking lot. Now at the prosecutor's office, the murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. God damn it. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness observed the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. God damn it. <laughs> We're not, we're not good defense attorneys. <laughs> but. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Yeah, like, who the fuck was that? Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Do we have his body in the morgue? <laughs> Just so, your honor. Mr. Ray, you'd have to do something, or else Lana- Yeah, I know, bitch, I'm trying! <laughs> this is hard, what do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? Yeah, I like waiting and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah, we do that, and it's like, this, this bitch is guilty! <laughs> One moment, your honor. What now, Mr. Wright? I don't know. Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Uh, of course not. But I'm almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? <laughs> this cross-examination has only proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. Wait, was that like a big-ass, like, blood on the guy's coat right before the yeah. camera turned? I guess that does follow what uh, Meekin said was like, uh, like his blood was getting all over the guy's coat. Do you see it sticking out? However, it can't be said that it is unrelated to the murder at the parking lot. Oh, we're finally bringing this shit up. Specifically, the large amount of blood traces that were found in the evidence room. 
The defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor? If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Fuck. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. I mean, who was I mean, to be fair, in the video camera, who else was gonna be there? <laughs> this just might be my chance. The time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. Ray, do you mean- How can you hear my thoughts? Your Honor? <laughs> the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name. We're again to before a Before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testified. What is his or her name? Yeah. He's yeah. 65?! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I, I like I, 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 I'd, I'd, I'd like Goodman to... Yeah, the victim and a good man. Like Goodman. I, I, I'd like I'd like Emma Sky to come up. Yeah. I'd like me to come up. I'm the witness. Yeah. <laughs> I would like Detective Dick Gumshoe to come up. Officer o Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? Because I asked. I can't let Edgeworth know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel like we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the defense request. Bitch. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Yeah, like, why wasn't he guarding the room? <laughs> Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Oh, okay, so we're now at the trial ladder? Very well. The court will take a 30-minute recess while the witness is subpoenaed. Will the prosecution please prepare the witness during this time? Yeah. We will, Your Honor. Court is now in recess. Wouldn't we have to prepare the witness because the defense called him? Or am I crazy? Hi, Lana. You almost got accused of murder, which you already confessed to, but, like, still, that was kind of scary. <laughs> what, you want water? No. Oh. <laughs> what did you do? Okay. I didn't know if we wanted to stop there. I think we're about to get to a to be continued, because uh. I think this is still in the trial f former. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, because okay. it's a trial former when we loaded this up, so it's probably going to get split right, two right, halves. Right. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Ryan? Huh? What did you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you figured out everything. Uh, I haven't figured out anything. <laughs> oh no. You know when you lose everything. Yeah, can you just tell us already? Emma. You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Yeah. Mr. Ryan is trying his hardest to protect you. I... I don't recall ever asking for his protection. Well... How can you be so cold? Bitch! <laughs> don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? <laughs> Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Kill yourself. <laughs> oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. No, gum gumshoe, come back! Come back! Wait, this had a gumshoe, what is it? Is he gonna come back sad? Oh. <laughs> You got a lot of nerve, pal, making a detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't see you there, Chief Prosecutor Sky. Yeah, she's the fucking def That's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh, 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 oh. You mean this, right? What the fuck? Paperwork? My apologies, detective. Due to my cert- my- s the fuck. <laughs> Due to my present uh, circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when I was making my request. My name? Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring me the SL9 instant files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The SL9 incident? Alana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Oh, thank you. I get to learn about another case while doing this case. It's just like the last one we did. <laughs> here, you might as well read them. 
I can't believe you, Chief Prosecutor, were a witness in that case. Miss Sky was a witness? Suddenly I incident filed for the Joe Joe Dar Darkey killing solved two years ago. Thank you for me, you don't want anything to do with serial murders. Thank you. Oh what? Now nah, I brought you your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? Uh, Emma? But why? Why is your name in here? What? what? My name's in there? I, I don't know, un unless... No, it couldn't be. Lana, this SL9 is, is that... Were you involved in a fucking serial killing? That's a classified number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it was as the Joe Dari killings. The Joe Dari... No, no, Lana. That's over with. No. What? Did Emma wait? She ran away. <laughs> uh, you know what? I just remembered. I I gotta be somewhere. <laughs> I got some ramen. I gotta eat. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Oh, thanks. I'm left alone with the murder. Jake Marshall, Angel Sar, Dam Gant. <laughs> oh, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth. Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't be a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I better take a good look at this file. Should we do that real quick? Or no? Okay. Alright, to be continued, <laughs> I guess we'll read it in the next one. <laughs> yep. So, can I have your thoughts? No. Oh, okay. You don't want to talk- wait, be like, what are you thinking, or...? I mean, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm still, like, kind of in the dark, because we haven't learned about the previous incident. Yeah, we still don't We don't really have an example of, like, who this person could be that was in the, that was in the, like, uh, police, or the evidence room. Mm -hmm. Um, like... I guess, like, we're probably going to find out most of the stuff in the next one when yeah. we learn about the previous incident. We have Jake Marshall talking about, like, what actually happened. Uh, I wonder if he's going to break character. Yeah. But, um, Stop but being from Texas. It was interesting to know that uh, that there wasn't, like, actually a murder in the... Yeah. There wasn't actually two murders in, in one spot, which, I mean, makes sense. Yeah. But I thought... It, it would have been two murders, but it was like two different. It was it was two, two different, different people. people. Yeah. But now it's just straight up telling us that there's only one murder, and that this other one Little technically point. is unrelated, but it, it's probably actually related. Yeah, it probably connects somehow. Also, I want to note that during the security video, like that locker on the side didn't have anything poking out, and then after we pan over, after Meekins fucking flopped over, almost dead. We pan back over and there's a thing sticking out. So whoever was imitating Detective Goodman definitely opened that locker. And it didn't have a little light, so... And since it's fingerprinted... Whoever can open that locker is definitely the guy that did. <laughs> yeah. So it's pro it's gotta be someone within the police department or the prosecutor's office or a detective or something. Yeah. I mean, he was smart enough to be like, Oh, if I sway my ID card, the guy's gonna... They're gonna see it on the record. So I'm gonna steal this guy's thing and just imitate him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which I think it is Jake Marshall, considering that we saw Goodman's yeah. hat and on his cactus. Yeah. Oh, and then also his fucking bloody hand on the locker. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that's that's all I've got for my thoughts. I'm still not able to draw really any conclusions just yet, mm -hmm. because we don't we just don't know enough. But, um, I, I might be able to speak a little bit more on my opinions in the next one. Yeah. So, have that to look forward to. Yeah. All right, till next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah,